All right, is your Mercedes uh, becoming uh, bouncy, sway, bumpy, noisy, like with a thump when you go over any potholes, uneven roads, or um, speed bumps? Well, most likely your hydraulic accumulator, sphere, air cell, uh, with nitrogen in it, whatever name that's it's categorized with, have gone bad. So there's actually two that are this size, that are the larger ones. One is in the front, one is in the back. This is the easiest one. But if you're having any of those symptoms, time to replace this. Hey, what's up, YouTube? All right, today we're going to try to do a hydraulic um, accumulator or sphere change. And what we need to start out doing is on your Mercedes S-Class W220, you have one here on the front, and then there's one on the passenger side in the rear next to the muffler. Um, so to get started, we need to take out the plastic uh, lining in the front here. And with that, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I think you may need to loosen this one up right here. 10, uh, from what I can see, bolts, uh, that you need to remove to take off this plastic covering. All right, so with these, I'm gonna grab a little air too to make things go faster, are the 10 millimeter, um, I don't know if you can kinda see it's a 10, and you can take those, put that on there. Uh, oops, wrong way. Whoopsie. Let me see if I can twist this around with one. So I'll go ahead and remove those. All right, uh, you also have uh, two that are right here on the side right there to get off. And then you have the two silver ones. I'm not sure if they're all silver or not that are actually eight uh, millimeter bolts to get off. All right, so to get this bottom part off, there's going to be one of these um, right underneath here. And there's going to be another one that's down um, here you feel around oh right here is where is that that's holding this piece uh onto here um you don't have to remove all of these if you don't want to but i'm doing it just in case i have to kind of adjust or move anything else around so these are the main ones here 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 like that all right so let's go ahead and take this out uh slowly i can't do it with one hand but uh yeah hopefully you don't want to break anything and, and pull it out all right all right, here we are, guys. Now I'm pulling this off. That was a lot of dust. All right, so you're able to pull that out. Uh, be careful with the little edging right there that we're, you know, trying to come off too. All right, so now we're underneath here and I can finally see uh, what's going on. Now, what I need to replace, and um, all I'm doing today is we're just replacing this right here okay so what i'm told i've never done this before i never had one of these cars before um abc unit there's not a lot of information out there that's telling you anything um how to work on these cars so uh i'm trying to do with a little bit of information that i have and hoping for the best all right so we have to remove a bolt here there's a, a little one here and there's one if you can so we're kind of pan around. There's one that's all the way right here um, that's holding this unit on. And I'll show Would you be quiet? Hey! The birds do up to y'all? I don't know. It's kind of weird. Even when you say be quiet, they're still in. And, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> hey! Anyway, they're always in the room over there, going to sleep at night and stuff. Um, anyway, getting back to what I was doing. Um, so we're going to take these off, and then I think this is a 17. Let me see what I got. Uh, I got my trusty, uh, what you call it here. I think someone said this is a 17. Nope, it is. It is a 17. And the hydraulic fluid um, probably will be pouring out of here, and you don't want to get that on your hands or anything like that. So just remember that, uh, I'm gonna put a little something down here to catch it because it's gonna drip out. 
of that here. All right. All right, so get yourself a nice big 17 millimeter and you can put that on there, twist it until it starts uh, coming loose. You just kind of want to loosen it up with the bolt still on there because you're gonna need a little bit of you know tug room to kind of get it uh, off and then make sure you have some of uh, something to catch it with because it's probably gonna get a little bit of messy um, all over the place um, with that. So just make sure you do that. See, here it, here it comes. We're starting to flow down already. And uh, all right, let me take off the, uh, I think the 10 millimeters that are that are here that you need to take off. You need to take off one, two, three. Um, one, two, and three right back there. All right, so we're just taking off the last bolt, screw, I should say. Didn't want that to go in there. It's got stuff in it. Anyway, um, so you take those off to loosen up the uh, ones on the bracket. All right, use something kind of gentle to get down there to push this down a little bit, and then you could just bring it right on out, this here. And hmm, this is not as heavy as the replacement one. This is this is a little bit heavier versus this one, just a little teeny bit. So here's the original Mercedes-Benz stuff. Um, I think it's built by the same company, but Here's the updated old one and the new one. All right, so when you do that, surprisingly, there's not a lot of fluid that's coming out of there as I thought it would be. I thought it would be dripping out by the time it's, but it's not. All right, so let's go ahead. Hope you guys can hear over top of the air compressor. Oh, look, you know what? I need to do the test. Let's see if the spheres are bad. Test. All right, they say here's the old one. Hmm. All right, so this one's going a little bit bad, but you can kind of go down in there. But this one, it's like right at the top. All right, so you're gonna line it up in there. You know, right through there and there. And you're gonna take something, just kind of be gentle with it. Uh, bring it down. Uh, I got a long extension that can go down there. Bring it down and push it up inside there. Uh, the next, what we're definitely gonna do is uh, put in. Ugh, don't wanna get any of that on me. Put in some of the screws here uh, to kind of get started a little bit um, to put that in. So, put that down there. All right, so I guess what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hook the, hold on you guys. Hopefully you guys can, can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna quickly take this, I don't feel like wasting time. With that, I'm back. fast and easy. All right, so you can do go back to three. Hopefully, you guys saw that. All right, so once you double checked everything and make sure stuff's there, you can grab your screws, put the lining back in, which only takes a few seconds, and uh, tighten up all the uh, screws that go inside there. Um, there's quite a few of them, so just be prepared to put them all back. And, um, you know, there's a few spots right there. Make sure you go underneath on the uh, bumper and put everything back, and you should be good to go. All right, so I actually went out and bought some uh the CHF uh, 11 stuff from Advanced Auto Parts. It's about $34 for it. Um, hopefully I don't need to open it and I can return it. So let's go on the side here and start it up. See if uh, what I did was okay. My check engine light is on, but 
that's all right. All right, so far we looks like we're okay. Let's see if we can hit the raise button. Kind of go down, a little bit up. Try that again. 